and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So as you might imagine, today we're going to talk about how to stop glasses from fogging up when wearing a mask. And we're going to show you two techniques that work and two that don't. Oh, yours are fogging up, Bob. I know they are. <laughs> Let me just show you real quick before we go any further how my glasses fog up on me. Wow. I don't, this is really. Are you seeing it, Mike? You got to be scaring people away getting that yeah. face up that close to their camera, Bob. Better get back here. So I have a problem because not only do I have to wear a mask a lot of times when I see patients, but I have a big nose. So, <laughs> and I have glasses. So yeah, it's yeah. it's a bad combination. And uh, so, I, and, and the problem is when you're working with a patient, you can't touch your glasses. Then right, you can't touch your you know, if I wear a shield, right. so you can't touch the shield. Yeah. So I've had it where I, I'm in with the patient. I'm trying to look at their oxygen reading, <laughs> and I can't read it. Right. I mean, I literally can't read it. I'm just like, I, you know, what do I do? Yeah. So this is a real serious problem. And for those of you out there who are just maybe wearing the regular mask, the homemade mask, or the mask like Brad here, it's it's it's, and you got glasses, it's still going to be a problem. So we'll go over this. By the way, if you're new to our channel, oh. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And if you get a chance, go to bobandbrad.com. What are we giving away? Thermatex. Thermatex. That's right. Thermatex, uh, far infrared heating system. That's a really cool yes. giveaway. Well, I say warm. They're warm. You're really warm yeah. giveaway, yeah. Uh, go to Facebook. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Mm -hmm. Go to Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. So first, let's talk about what doesn't work, Brad. They talked about, I've seen YouTube channels where they take, you wash your glasses with soap and then you clean them off and that's supposed to give you like a little film yeah. or something. Doesn't work. Yeah. They also, and this I didn't try myself and it'll be interesting to see what you think, Brad, but I've seen other YouTubers say using the anti-fog spray, there's a spray, sure. does not work. Yeah. And I'm I'm assuming it doesn't. It doesn't make sense that it would work for me because I, or even use rain Rainex. Oh, uh, sure, that stuff you put on your windshield. Yeah, you know I think that is from like if you snorkel or scuba dive. I've used toothpaste. I've used soap. I've used saliva. It all works good, but that's a di completely different situation when you're got the your mask is completely sealed from air. This is right a totally different atmosphere than obviously than that. that has to be sealed or otherwise you're gonna have water coming <laughs> in. Yeah. So uh second, this is not an issue of glasses being cold. I heard one YouTuber oh. say, you know, and that's how happens right. to be in the in like mm -hmm. once your glasses warm up. No, I'm in the middle of summer and my glasses were warm and yeah. they're still fogging up as you can see. So the stuff that has worked for me and works really well, actually, is the first thing is the most simple one. You mm -hmm. just take a Kleenex and you fold it up. You can even make it kind of accordion type, yeah. you know, and you put it in place and you put the mask over the top of the thought. This might be a little hard for me to do when I'm not in front of a mirror, but already it creates a, a seal or a barrier. <laughs> right. And see, right now it's not fogging. And, and maybe a little more comfortable. It, it is time. more comfortable because what we're seeing, I've seen with nurses that are wearing these all day. They're getting uh, skin breakdown here. Yeah. They're, they're reacting mm -hmm. to the metal. There's a little adjustable metal piece in here that you can help shape it around right. your nose. To help the seal. But that, that doesn't do the full job. Sure. But, but this really helped. You, if you want to also include with this, you could actually tape this down in place too. So you just put some tape on both sides here. And what I have here is a, it's a surgical tape kind of. You can, a, can you get that at the pharmacy, the local yeah, pharmacy? Yeah, yeah. This is available everywhere. Buy it online, whatever. Buy it online, that's where I bought it. It's hypoallergenic. It's, uh, it's for sensitive skin. Yes. But let me tell you this, this skin is really sensitive. Mm. I mean, really sensitive. And you put it up there and you seal it down. I don't know again if I'm catching it all. And that does the same job. Yeah. If you want to really make sure, you could do this and this. 
Duct tape doesn't work. No, duct tape would not be sensitive. <laughs> but when you pull this off, I mean, this this does not feel good. Yeah, a little. I can't even it find it. Bites a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better if you're in front of a mirror. Oh, I I could just if that was on all day, I think that would yeah. irritate. I, and mm -hmm. Brad and I have seen this. We work with the tape that we work uh, that we place on for knee problems. Right. And uh, like chondral malaysia and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I have had patients that have used it for weeks without a problem. Yep. And then the third week they come in and it's all red and and so irritated. A, over time. It, over time, it seems like it irritates the skin. Now, there's a little more friction there because of the way it's sure, being used. Sure, right, right. But it, it, I, almost most patients, after like two or three weeks, it starts to get red. I, I, I could see... Yeah. The same thing happened is now if you're in a pinch and you don't have some of this tape and you want to try, you could take a couple band-aids. So Brad's got a band-aid there. Yeah. He's gonna see if he can do yeah. it without there we go. It's I'm like gonna... applying your makeup yeah. without the mirror. Yeah, I, I I didn't put my makeup on this morning, Bob. Look at that though, huh? Hey, good job. Well uh, done. I got another one, but I'm not gonna take yeah. the time to put it on because well, this side doesn't fog up. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So this is the, uh, by the way, the N95 mask, and we can have these because we work with patients who are under quarantine, actually. Right. This is one of the ones I use with them, actually. And uh, That one is one. That's an N95. Oh, yeah. it doesn't have the valve on it. Well, it's an N95. Oh, so okay. Right well, then it's so. going to filter. Yep. And uh, Brad and I were having a discussion about these. You know, again, <laughs> these serve to prevent uh, droplets if you sneeze or you cough, mm -hmm. but they really don't protect another person even from the airborne virus because it right. can go right through it. Right, it's got it's too coarse. It, the, the virus can go right through it, and then uh, so it. And then if you're like this, it doesn't seal very well around here, and um, there's there's a number of, of issues with with these. So it's it's really nice to have. Right, right. The, the real thing. I we realize it's very difficult. To obtain them, to obtain these, yeah. and also um, you do. We wear the goggles now because they do believe it goes through the eyes. Oh, um, sure. And uh, we actually have sometimes the goggles or sometimes the full full face shields. Right. But those right. two fog up. Yeah. And that's why I mean it's really uh, pertinent that you actually keep things sealed. So that it starts just blowing down this way usually is what happens, I think. Right. So. And then there's the audible part you can't hear. Oh, you're right. With some of the hard of hearing, that really is challenging with, you know. You know. It's an awful situation. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it's so not optimal. Right. I mean, it, it, it's, People out in the, in the health field know exactly yeah. what we're talking about. And then you're trying to, you know, you have to, you have to watch what your hands are doing. Then you got you got gowns on. You got it's it's a terrible situation. I I'm luckily I, I you know I go in and do evaluations. They don't take very long, but to have to wear that all day. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Those those these people are really. You got. They take are your, heroes. On you got to take line, your hats yeah. off to them. Yep. I don't have a hat on. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Enjoy.